Are you ready to step into science with ABS? You are? Great! Let's go and find out what today is all about. Hello guys. Oh, now this looks like a nice day. How to measure the weather. That's a bit of a strange title for today. Let's go and see what that's about. Weather can make our day nice. This does look like a nice day. Or weather can make our day bad. Hmm, weather's very important to us, isn't it? So, how much weather do we have? Hmm, that's another strange question. Hmm, what? Well, we have weather all day, every day. That's how much we have. But, if we say it is a hot day, is it a little bit hot or very hot? Hmm. Well, we need to measure the weather. It's quite easy. And we have some great words, some really super words. That's got to be good. Whew. Well, there's a hot day and a cold day. Let's look at hot and cold first. We need a thermometer. There's our first good word, thermometer. And there it is. I'm sure we've all seen a thermometer. This measures the temperature. If that little red line is very high, it's hot. If it's very low, it's cold. The numbers on the thermometer show us the temperature in two different ways. Let's look. We've got numbers under the letter F and we've got some different numbers under the letter C. Oh, this is a cold day. Zero degrees Celsius is the same as 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got two different ways of measuring the temperature. Let's say those words again. Celsius and Fahrenheit. Hmm. Oh, that's a cold day. Yes, it is. That is really cold. Oh, this is not cold. Look at how far up that red line has gone now. 38 degrees Celsius is the same as 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, Dear, that is really hot. Okay, now this is just a way that we can catch water. It's really just a measuring cylinder. If we want to measure how much rain we have had, we need a rain gauge. A rain 
gauge. There it is. Just measures how much water there is coming out of the sky. Well, we know that that's a ruler, but look at the numbers. The rain gauge. This measures rain in centimetres and millimetres. It's usually millimetres. Oh dear, that's not nice. If we get more than one centimetre in a day, that is a very rainy day. So usually, we use the millimetres. Oh, I think we can guess what the next thing is we're going to measure. That looks quite windy. When we measure the wind, we might need to know two things. Oh dear, that's quite windy, isn't it? How fast is the wind and which way is it blowing? They're both important. Let's start with wind direction. Which way is the wind blowing? Well, that's a beautiful thing. We usually see these on the tops of buildings. We need a weather vane. A weather vane will point the direction that the wind is blowing. A weather vane can be lots of different shapes. This one's a chicken. But can you see the arrow under the chicken? That's pointing the wind direction. At the bottom, it has N, E, S and W to tell us if the wind is blowing north, east, south or west. They always look really great. We also need to know how fast the wind is blowing. Oh, now I like this piece of equipment. It's got a great name. For this, we need an anemometer. That is the best word today. Anemometer. The faster the wind, the faster it spins. The wind will blow into those four small cups and it will spin around. I'm going to say the name again. Anemometer. A 40 kilometer per hour wind will break your umbrella. Oh dear, we don't want a 40 kilometer per hour wind then. Well, there we have the same place, but on two very different days. And now you can measure the weather. Well, that's a very nice day. Now you can say what the weather is really like. Is it a little bit hot or very hot? A little bit windy or very windy? Which direction is the wind blowing in? So many different things we can now say about the weather. I'm going to have a look and see what the weather is like outside today. See you soon. Bye. 
Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.